Hello guys, Belle here. Going to give you a little walkthrough of the Paladin and the Legendary gear that you can acquire in Legion. Now I'm just going to go over the gear that's currently available in beta for us to be able to purchase and test. Uh, the purpose is just to show you what you're looking at as far as what these items will actually bring to the table. Now I did do a full breakdown on Legendary gear and what that means, how you can acquire everything that you're going to need to know. If you want to click after this video, the top right hand corner, uh, that'll be all the information that you need as I'm not going to cover it in this video. This is strictly a preview. Uh, some of this gear that I'm going to show you will be only for different specs. Uh, it doesn't mean you can't use it. You just, the unusability won't be good for you, uh, because some of this is for certain abilities on, uh, specific specializations, but I'm just going to run through all the gear so that you have an idea of what you're looking at. And, uh, that way you can kind of pre-plan when you get these legendary items, how you want them to work since you're only going to be able to equip one at a time to start. So let's jump right into these, shall we? So the first one's going to be a ring. This is going to be haste and mastery uh, for the main stats here. Successfully applying a loss of control effect to an enemy grants you 70% increased movement speed and 15% haste for 10 seconds. This effect can occur uh, once every 30 seconds. I apologize that uh, that person jumped in the video. I need to position myself better so that it doesn't distract. For the next one here, which is going to be feet, uh, haste and mastery are going to be the ones to note here. However, intellect is also available depending upon the class because uh, this is a plate that's shared between warrior, paladins, and death knights. The special thing to note here increases your movement speed by 75% of your haste. The next set's going to be a wrist. Hopefully you guys can see the difference. I'm wearing 80, um, 810 PvP gear. You guys can just see the, the difference in stats is substantial. So this is going to be a wrist piece. Critical strike and mastery are the important items to note here. However, uh, intellect as well because it is plate. So um, it depends on your spec uh, as well in regards to what that's going to activate for your stats. Now, the, it, it does increase the duration of your blessing of freedom and uh, increase the duration of your blessing of freedom and your blessing of protection by 40%, which is pretty substantial there. Here's another ring, Critical Strike and Mastery are going to be the important ones to note here. Judgment increases all healing you do by 20% for 5 seconds. These legs, uh, Critical Strike and Mastery and or Intellect, depending upon your spec, is going to be the stats to note here. Avenger Shield jumps to 2 additional targets. Your neck, this is Critical Strike and Mastery. After not taking damage for 5 seconds, you gain an Absorption, sh absorption Shield. For 15% of your maximum health for 30 seconds. This effect may occur once every 30 seconds. Your waist. Uh, this is going to be one of the belts. Critical strike or haste or intellect depending upon your spec. Casting a non-greater blessing heals the target for an additional 15% of maximum health. This is going to be shoulders. And the shoulders are critical strike and haste or int intellect depending upon your spec. 30% of healing done to you heals all allies affected by your beacons divided evenly. The next one here is going to be hands. This is critical strike or haste or intellect, depending upon the spec that you are, reduces the cooldown of lay on hands by 40%. Then you also have a really nice chest piece here. This is haste and versatility, also intellect, depending upon your spec. Each enemy hit by Avengers shield reduces the remaining cooldown uh, on Guardian of Ancient Kings by four seconds. Your next one here is you do have another ring. This is Haste and Mastery. You take 4% less damage while standing in your Consecration. Another ring here is Critical Strike and Haste. While Avenging Wrath is active, you gain one Holy Power every 2.5 two, every seconds. You also have the Wrist. Uh, this is Critical Strike, Mastery, or Intellect, depending upon the spec that you are. Any attack which, you, which would kill you instead triggers a Shield of Vengeance. At 200% the normal amount then reduces you to one health. <laughs> Cannot occur more often than once per 2.8 minutes. The next one here, this is going to be a helm. Haste and mastery are going to be the important ones to note. Also critical strike depending upon your spec. Hammer of justice deals 94k damage and has 75% reduced cooldown when used against an enemy above 75% health. And finally, another back piece. This is Critical Strike, Haste, and Intellect, depending upon your spec. Templar's Verdict in Divine Storm increases the damage of your next Templar's Verdict or Divine Storm by four seconds, uh, within four seconds, by 25%. 
I love how the tooltip here is pitiful. Is that the best you can do? <laughs> so that's going to be your look at what we have so far for legendaries. If you need more information on the legendaries uh, and what they'll do and how you acquire them, please make sure you click the video in the top right hand corner. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment on the video. That's what I'm here for. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I'm going to go ahead and get on out of here. And as always, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe.